Okay, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now today I'm taking you back to late in the reign of King Henry VII for On This Day in Tudor History, the 8th of May, 1508, herald and chronicler Charles Risley was born in London. And by the way, his surname is spelt Ryothersley, starting with a W, but it's pronounced as Risley or Risley. Risley's Chronicle is one of the major primary sources for King Henry VIII's reign, and I use it several times a week in my research. It's one of my very favourite primary sources. But let me tell you a little bit more about Charles Risley, and I'll also give you a link to read his chronicle in the description for this talk. Charles Risley came from a family of heralds. He was the younger son of Sir Thomas Risley, Garter King of Arms, and grandson of John Wright, Garter King of Arms, and nephew of William Risley, York Herald. From the age of three, Charles was brought up at Garter House, a mansion that was built by his father Thomas in Barbican Street, Cripplegate, in London. He was educated at Trinity Hall, Cambridge, which his cousin Thomas, future Lord Chancellor to King Henry VIII, also attended. At the tender age of just 16 in 1524, Risley was appointed Rouge Quoi Poursuivant, a junior officer of arms of the College of Arms. It is thought that he also began service to Thomas Audley at this time. In 1529, he became a gentleman of Gray's Inn, one of the four inns of the court in London. As herald, he attended the ceremony in which Anne Boleyn was created Marquess of Pembroke in 1532 and her coronation in 1533. And the coronation was the first major event that he recorded in his chronicle in detail from a personal perspective as he witnessed it. His chronicle, however, does go back to the very start of the Tudor dynasty and Risley used Richard Arnold's chronicle as a source for this. Risley's biographer, Gordon Kipling, describes how Risley saw his chronicle as not just as a personal document, but also as a record of the dynasty he served, as perceived from the viewpoint of the City of London, and that he strove to create a chronicle at once loyal and carefully observant. In late 1534, he became Windsor Herald of Arms in Ordinary, but that was the height of his career as a herald, and he didn't go as far as his father and grandfather. Perhaps this was due to the death of Audley in 1544, and then the fall of his cousin Thomas Risley in 1547. It is thought that Charles Risley married twice, but there's no mention of any children. He died on the 25th of January 1562 at his lodgings in the home of painter Stainer Sampson Camden and was laid to rest at St Sepulchre's Church, Hoban, in a lavish funeral paid for by his fellow heralds. As I said, Risley was a herald. If you're wondering what that means, a herald is an officer of the College of Arms whose job it is to oversee state ceremonial precedents and the use of armorial bearings, and historically to make proclamations, carry official messages, and oversee tournaments. The College of Arms was founded by King Richard III in 1484, and it's still going today. Traditionally, in the College of Arms, there are six King of Arms, the senior rank, six heralds and four pursuivants of arms, the junior rank. These are all overseen by the Earl Marshal. I'll give you a link to the College of Arms website to find out more. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 8th of May 1559, Queen Elizabeth I gave her approval to the Acts of Uniformity and Supremacy. The Act of Uniformity was incredibly important and it reflected the Queen's wish to follow a middle road where religion was concerned. But what was this Act? What did it establish? What did Elizabeth want for England and what happened? 
where you can find out in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. And in 1536, in the lead up to Queen Anne Boleyn's fall, the vultures were circling, hands were being rubbed with glee. But who were these vultures and what were they after? Well, I'll give you a link to the video to find out more. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking that button just there. I can see it, of course. You can give me a like and leave a comment and you can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. Take care. Bye-bye.